In this video, we will do a very small project where we need uh, three columns. The first column will have the product categories, and in the second column, we need comma separated sub products, and in the third column, we need the total number of uh, products available for these categories. So, how we can accomplish uh, this output with the help of uh, Power Query M language? So, let's go to the Power Query editor. And in the last video, you have seen how we have merged our product category and product subcategory. So we need to do the same thing here. We need to click products category, merge query, merge query as new. And uh, here we need to select product category key, this primary key, and then we need to select product subcategory and the foreign key here is product category key. And here we need to select inner join, click OK. So this table contains all the columns from the subcategory table that belong to the product category key. So we can name this table as a categories. And uh, which column do we need? We don't need a product category and a product category alternate so we can delete it, remove and we don't need the French product and Spanish. So we need to delete these two things. So we are interested in the product category name and the other information from the subcategory table. So we need in the sub product subcategory, we need um, product subcategory key because uh, we will use subcategory key to get the related products from the product table and we need English product subcategory name. Here you can uncheck, use original column name as prefix and uh, then you can click OK. And here you can see this is the product subcategory key and this is the English product subcategory name. We can short this name like uh, subcat, subcat name. And uh, so we have uh, this table now we need to merge this table with the product table to get the product information. So for this, we need to click here merge query as new. And uh, then we have to select here products table. This is the product. Here we have to select the primary key is the product subcategory key. And uh, then we need the product subcategory key here in the product table. So, and here you can select inner join. Let me zoom it, you can see it better. So, that's all. And uh, now we need to click OK. So, here you can see we are getting English product category name, subcategory key, subcategory name, and this product information. If you click here, you can see the column from the product table. So we are not uh, interested in all the columns from the product table. So we are only interested in the in the product key. So that uh, product key so that we, we can count these uh, products. So for this, we need to click add column, custom column. And uh, here we can, okay, let me change the name here. So we can say it's a final, uh, final table, for example. This is the name of the, the table. So we, we have to do everything here. No, no, we have a uh, product category name, product subcategory, and the product information. So all the three things, as you have seen here, the product name, the category name, subcategory, and the product information. So we have everything available in the final table. So we need to add one column here, custom column. And here we have to write, uh, for example, products, Pro products underscore key, for example, this is the name of the column. And uh, then we have to use one M function, select table dot select column. And uh, we, I, I, don't remember the, the name of the in the column that we need. So let me click here. So it's a product key. P is capital and K is capital. So we need to 
add custom custom column and uh, the name of the column is product underscore key and here we have to write the name of the function this is select column the first parameter is is the table so what is the table the table is is the products this this column this is the column that contains tables so and then the second column we need double quotations and we have to write product key that's it because we are only interested in in one column and then we have to let me zoom it just so you can see it better so this is the whole stuff and then we need to click ok so here you can see if you click here you can see the available products keys that belong to the subcategories right because we have a relationship between category to subcategory subcategory to product so we don't need uh, this column products so we can remove it and uh, we don't need product category uh, product subcategory key can remove it and uh, we have the product category name subcategory name and the product information so here we can add one more column custom column and uh, then we write one function here it's like a row count table dot row count and uh, it needs one table and the table name is our table is available under product underscore key so we can so that it can count the number of rows click ok and here you can see uh, for example this table this table contain these rows right and uh, this function is counting these rows so that the, there are 38 values available in this um, column against this spike okay so now we don't need product key table so we can remove it and uh, now we have uh, like under bike we have mountain bikes and uh, number of products that belong to mountain bikes are 38 road bikes 65 and so on now we need a grouping so we can click home uh, we can click on like transform and uh, group by Here we have to choose uh, which column we need grouping on the product category name. So this is a product category name and uh, you can change and you can write any any name here. And here we have to choose all rows. That's it. So because we need all the rows against English product category column. So we can click OK. Now we are quite near to the output in which we are interested. So here you can see we are having bikes, component, clothing, accessories and now we need uh, these two rows, right? So like here for the mountain bike there are 125 and if you click here bike. So if we add 38 plus 65 plus 22 we will get the same amount 125 so we will do now step by step to to get uh, this output so now we need subcategory name so for this we need to use a list and uh, for this we have to add new column custom column and uh, here we can write subcategory list and uh, here it will be column column is a function for uh, like table dot column this one and uh, this function will return us a list so here we have to provide one table and what is the the table here is the name of the table is count 
and which column in which column we are interested we are interested in the subcategory name so it is sub subcategory name or the subcat name that's it and now we need to click okay so we are getting one error that uh, subcat name of the table was not found there is some problem in the name it's a subcat name i think s is capital it's a very case sensitive language and s is capital this click ok and here you can see we are getting one list that contains mountain bikes road bikes and the touring bikes and uh, we need uh, one more thing here um, we you have to click on the extract values and here you have to you, you can choose any separator here according to the uh, required output we need comma so you can click comma here click ok and here you can see so here you can see we are we are able to get almost the same output the english powder category name and the subcategory name the concatenated subcategory list with the commas with the commas separated list so now the last point is we need the product uh, count so for this we need to add one more column here this is the product count and uh, first we need list uh, table dot column table dot column and the name of the table is because we are interested in uh, because the table is available under count so this is the name of the table and uh, in which column we are interested click ok so here you can see we are getting the list of uh, products right so we have, now we need to uh, sum these numbers so we have to add one more column or uh, you can do one more thing if you don't need to add column again and again you you can just uh, go to the add column 3 setting because uh, this whole thing is returning us a list so we can use one list function here so it is sum list dot sum and uh, list or sum needs a list as a parameter so we can just close it and uh, now we can click OK so here you can see we are able to get the number of uh, product count so we are not interested in the count column we can remove it and uh, here you can see the product category name subcategory name and the product count so if, you, if we compare both output so here you can see the English product category name, uh, this is the subcategory name and uh, this one is the product count. So you have seen how easy it is to get the required output. You can prepare data set according to your requirement. If you know the, the theory behind uh, list, table functions, group by and if you follow the, the proper flow, you can prepare any data set for your ongoing or dashboard or your uh, in in for for your projects so that's all if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you